Connie Hook holds the record for the longest-serving female Blue Peter presenter. She presented the show from 1997 to 2008 and was rarely off our screens in the 2000s, hosting The Extra Factor, Hannah Oak and The Tube as well as appearing as a guest on shows such as 8 Out of 10 Cats and Celebrity Fame Academy. But now, the 46-year-old is rarely seen on television, having largely retired from showbiz and embarking on a totally new career path. In 2010, Connie married writer Charlie Brooker, who created the hugely popular Black Mirror series. He has also hosted satirical shows including Screen Wipe, Game Swipe, News Wipe, Weekly Wipe, and 10 O'Clock Live. They had only known each other for nine months, but are still going strong 11 years later. She has previously revealed that at first, Charlie insisted he didn't want children, until she gave him an ultimatum. Get the news you want straight to your inbox. Sign up for a mirror newsletter HRE. Faced with the prospect of losing Connie, Charlie changed his mind and they now have two sons, Covey, 9, and Huxley, 7. Speaking on Rob Beckett and Josh Widdicombe's Parenting Help podcast, Connie explained, he didn't want kids but he hadn't met the right person and all that changed. I said, I am not really interested unless I am going to have kids. And so, he obviously saw the gene pool that I possessed and thought it wouldn't be right. I dunno, he just sort of changed his mind. I always wanted to be a mum. I always thought he'd have three. Two was just a nuclear family, so boring. Three is a dynasty, three is like a team and then I had two and I was like no way. Two is company and three's a crowd. Connie said she and Charlie have a yin and yang dynamic and that is what first attracted her to him. And Connie revealed she was also drawn to Charlie because he was good at having a phone conversation. She said, I don't have an Amazon account, a Uber, a Deliveroo. Nothing. I am not even on Facebook, I am an old-fashioned person. That was one thing that attracted me to Charlie, a bloke who is good at phone conversations is quite a rare thing, and Charlie is really good at having a telephone conversation. I am anti-consumerism. I buy nothing. Me and Charlie Yin and Yang well. I always say I am really analog and Charlie is really digital. My oldest is digital and my youngest is analog. The eldest is like his dad. He likes tinkering around with gadgets. The younger one loves getting out there and being sociable. He is a classic boy, speaking exclusively to Mirror Online. The mother of two admitted that she had a fundamental and profound overall feeling when thinking about her future with a TV writer, 50. She said, it was just a natural feeling that I had when I thought about our future together. I think that every single woman has the potential to just know. They always say that you just know, and to be honest, that's really how it was with me and Charlie. I just knew, she added. Once she had welcomed her boys, Connie decided to step back from television work to focus on raising them. The star explained to the BBC about the moment she realized she needed to either prioritize her career or her children for a while. She was hosting Sky Show King of the Nerds shortly after welcoming her first baby and was filming in Chelmsford and then coming back home to her baby instead of staying overnight, meaning she was picked up every morning at 5.30, before the tot woke up, 
having already expressed milk. Her desperation to miss the rush hour traffic meant she was willing the filming day to end. And it'd sometimes be sitting there exploding with milk, because you have to keep feeding the baby all day, she explained. I could get a nanny, but the time goes so fast, already both, my children, are in school and it feels like it was just yesterday they were born. These years, they don't come back. So I think after, King of the Nerds, I consciously took a step back, because I just thought, I'm doing everything badly. But it won't be forever, Connie has taken on the odd TV gig, hosting This Morning in 2015 and playing Pam in Good Omens. And she plans to return full-time one day, though she added the industry has completely changed since she's been away, with streaming taking over and viewers tending to watch box sets. Connie certainly hasn't stopped working, in fact she helped Charlie write Black Mirror episode 15 million merits. She has also written three of her own children's books. Cookie and the Most Annoying Boy in the World was published in 2019, and the follow-up, Cookie and the Most Annoying Girl in the World, came out the following year. Also in 2020, Connie wrote Fearless Fairy Tales, the perfect book for homeschooling fun and inspiration. Children's has always been my bag really, she explained. Ever since coming out of university, I've worked in children's television, we had the Blue Peter Book Awards, I've done a lot of initiatives with children from deprived backgrounds and a lot of STEM learning initiatives, and so, writing a book, is sort of taking all that and putting it together. Do you have a story to share? Email webfeatures at trinitamirror.com.